What's up, guys? Struggle Viker. Yeah, we'll address the elephant in the room. I, I fucked up trimming my beard. Uh, it, it'll come back. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> so, do a little ride review, or just not a ride review, but a quick ride on the new Indian. Uh, I've had it for two weeks now, and I am absolutely loving this bike. And we'll talk about why when I'm, when I'm on it. But a uh, good buddy of mine, me and him were talking just before I purchased new said bike. And I made the comment about him also in the market for a new helmet. And he was like, dude, I got, I got a helmet. I was like, it doesn't fit me. I bought it from a buddy. Uh, it didn't fit him, so it's really never been worn. I'll ship it to you. I'm like, dude, this is badass. Like, the community that we're a part of is just fucking amazing just good people all around so uh we'll we'll let let Diane bring uh his comments on the helmet he sent me and then and then we'll, we'll we'll get back to the ride uh not gonna be wearing the new helmet i haven't done a gopro setup on it yet um i just haven't had time as you can tell i'm like way behind on videos and everything else just work and family and everything else and youtube comes last i'm sorry um but yeah so let's let Mike tell his thing and we'll jump on the bike. Really, John? Really? This is what we're doing now? This is what we're gonna do? Look, this camera's there, John, see? Not over here, right there. I'm talking to you, trucking biker. Who in the fuck trades in a Harley Davidson for an Indian? I understand your tail lights didn't work. You got arms. Can you do hand signals? Can you do finger signals? can do something. Look, John. Camera, John. I sent you a helmet, John. You know what kind of helmet it is, John? Truck and biker. Truck and biker. It's a fucking Harley helmet, John. Well, guess what, John? I hope that it pinches your ears. Hope you look silly, John. Look, John. Camera, John. Fucking Jesus. I'm out of here. I, I can't deal with this shit. All right. Close that. That needs to be cleaned. <laughs> so, my new to me 2014. Indian Chief Vintage. I, I absolutely love this bike. It's such a smooth fucking ride. I mean, it's... Compared to the Dyna, night and day Cadillac. I mean, it's just... Oh! I'm in love with this damn thing. So, looking up on spec sheets and shit like that, it, it just... So much more power. And just the... I guess rideability of this bike. First weekend I had it, I think we did just close to 200 miles on a little ride, just to go grab some breakfast. Um, I haven't mentioned anything about it on my channel yet, but um, Salty and Sprinkles uh, started a new club, Defenders of Animals, and I am a member of that. So we raise money for. Uh, no-kill animal shelters, uh, help keep them in their daily business, uh, you know, help with providing food and care and everything for the animals. Uh, just had a club meeting yesterday, unfortunately I had to miss it. Uh, prior obligations with the family, but they got to go on a tour of the, uh, the uh, club that we're helping, but Joining that club really pushed me to really looking at a new bike. Because if you ride with Salty, a short ride is like 300 miles. And I live in Houston, and he lives about, or I live north of Houston, and he lives about 80 miles south of me. So any ride we go on, I can go ahead and tack 160 miles onto whatever it is we're riding. And same with Warpaint Customs. He lives up kind of towards my... It's not a stop sign, dumbass. Holy shit. Good God. 
People in America, I don't know why the fuck we have roundabouts. So, anyway, after a couple 300 plus mile rides on a Dyna, I'm not a young man anymore. I'm not a young man by any means. It's a great bike for a young man, but to be 40 years old, 300 something miles, I wouldn't be surprised if I got home and had a tail where my spine had come out of my ass. Like, I mean, it really was that ridiculous. But I absolutely love the Dyna for what it was. Is it? I mean, make a great bar hopper. I would have loved to have kept it, but I needed something that I could travel on. Got with a local Indian dealership, told them this is what I've got. I got no money, this is what I want. Can you work with me? Man, did they work with me. I went to Harley three or four times trying to get a new bike. Nothing, they, they wanted. You know, and I had, I'd had the Dyna for over two years, never missed a payment, never anything. And Harley's like, nope, give him half of what the bike's worth and trade. If he wants a used bike, give him more than it's worth if he wants a new bike but we're gonna shaft the fuck out of him on the price of the new bike. Sorry, man. To me, two wheels is two wheels. Be it Harley, Indian, Kawasaki. I looked at a few. I even thought about selling the Dyna outright and getting an old Intruder 1400. I am glad I went with what I got, man. I absolutely love this bike. Like I said, just night and day. And I love the fact that the windshield comes off so easily. It's two little clips. You pull it back and lift it off. That, that's it. It, it, it. There's no fumbling with springs or holding latches back while trying to get it off. I mean, the bike corners absolutely amazingly. I do need to get the suspension adjusted. It is a little on the soft side. Soft side. And the spanner wrench I have doesn't really work. Or doesn't work at all for, the, for these suspension. They're... Let's see here. No cops around. Let's get it. Sixty. I don't know what that time was, but that was sixty. And it probably would have done better, but the, the ass in broke free when I came off the clutch at first. <laughs> this bike is just absolutely ridiculous. I I I fucking love this thing. I'm going grocery shopping, and I figured, good a time as any. Work's been killing me. I, I haven't taken the GoPro to work with me because eh, nobody wants to watch me sit in traffic. And I actually tried to do the Code Gray Challenge twice. Got no audio both damn times. Uh, oh, I love this bike. But yeah. So, I'm just headed to Wally World real fast. Thought I'd do a video. Had people asking about it. If you got any questions about it, hit me up uh, in the comments below or hit me up on um, Instagram, truckandbiker77. I'm gonna try to figure out how to put a link to that down below. I, I suck at linking shit. And I'll link Dying Breed's channel down below also. Good damn guy. Damn good guy, he's funny as shit too. So, I'll stop ragging on and on about a bunch of uhs and ahs and blah, blah, blah. I suck at this. So, till next time, guys. Keep on trucking. Ride safe. <laughs>